It's great to be back. I see that we still got just as many haters as we had before, maybe even more. But, uh, you know, that's how it works when we show up. Yeah. You doubt us? When we show up, we bust brackets. We busted Paul's stance so hard that every time I stop at a gas station and see his dumb face on that screen, I can tell that he's broken inside. Yeah, every time I get in a shitty New York cab, there he is just crying. Those see? damn ETC guys ruined my career. We beat him so bad he had to get one of his kidneys removed. Oh, my well, this is the real reject's first time coming on the schmo down. Yeah, the gloves are coming gloves off. Gloves are coming We're off. Not even wearing them now. I know ETC's been here before. Don't know why they got invited first, because we're the real deal. Well, and hey, I heard ETC say they were stepping down their movie talk knowledge, and all we've done is step ours up, up. which yeah. is why we deserve to be in the league. ETC, eat this, chumps. The Schmodown needs ETC because we're obviously the most famous people involved. Freddie Prince Jr. can go fuck himself. Yeah, he's not all that. Sam Levine, not the man. Yeah, not at all. He's not even Tiny Wolverine anymore. We smacked the hair off his face. Yeah. In terms of knowledge, John and I, my brain is okay. His brain, okay. You put both of us together, we're like Bradley Cooper and Limitless. Scarlett Johansson and Lucy. Lucy. Christian Harloff in The Schmodown. The guy from The Limitless TV show in The Limitless TV show. Real Rejects, I came here to eat pizza and kick your ass. I'm almost out of pizza. I've got a full beer, but I'm still going to destroy you. Yeah. You're, you're, I'm coming for you. I want respect, damn it. Yeah. I want respect in this league. We demand respect. Ricky and Elliot. Ricky and Elliot. Just listen. so you know, after this game is done, you're going to hand over your channel to us. We're going to take over ETC. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible I mean, initials, by the way. I heard the real rejects were talking shit, saying they were going to take over our channel once they win. They only want to do that because they don't want to work. We have the ultimate amount of subscribers. We're crushing them. They want to skip and jump their way to the top? Fuck you. Yeah, I'll give you something to react to. Yeah. You losing. Trivia Schmodown. We are in the team league. I'm Christian Harloff. I am Mark Ellis and Christian. You, you talk about handsome guys. Yeah, you talk about you. classy guys. Thank you. None of them are competing today, but boy, what a match we have for you kids at home. Um, I am so excited for this one because look, you have ETC who has been here before. Ricky and Elliot, they joined the, the Ultimate Schmodown last year. Everyone thought they were going to be a joke. They were like the underdogs, and they beat Scott Mance and Alicia Malone in the first round. Huge upset by ETC then, and they became the heels of that tournament. Oh, yeah, and Elliot with it. his dancing. They brought beer. They sullied up our studio. Nobody cleaned it. Yeah, well, they, they absolutely, they love to talk smack. They love to have fun, and they're here. When we said we're doing a team league, they were the first team to get us in there. We're down. It was the real rejects. Though you have both, you have both Greg and John here, who they have been in the crowd, and they're like, "We want in, we want to play," and this is a good match for them to have. You know what? They're like Mark Wahlberg in that Oscar-winning film Rockstar, where they just wanted to be a part of the show. Now they're on stage; they get to belt out some lyrics. We'll see how they do. Very, very interesting. Let's see what the tale of the tape says, Mark. You got two huge online followings right now. Here they are. Look at them. Some strengths, some weaknesses. Christian, give me the rundown. Well, you got ETC, which is just cracking jokes, cracking jokes, and cracking no jokes. No real movie knowledge. On no, that. and then you have the real rejects reacting. Reacting, reacting, reacting. No real movie knowledge there, Christian. We Will anybody know. get a point in We're this We're going to find out in a second because the match is about to begin. Are you ready to go? I am ready. My ears are plugged. Let it rip, Golden Throat. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. Introducing first. Ladies and gentlemen, making their debut in the movie trivia showdown. They are Greg and John, the Real Regents! They are all stone -based. Solidarity and entering. Holding hands. holding hands like they're a high school football team yeah. or two people walking in love on the Santa Monica Pier. Oh, look at John. John looks very timid. I don't know where they are. Christian, the white lights are hitting them. They're not sure what's going on. Can they collect themselves in time? We don't know. They, they're very very rattled. Greg seems to be the one who is <sighs> helping huh? John. All right. Thank you and for the mic check. Their opponents with a record of one win. 
one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, returning to the Schmodown, Ricky and Elliot E.T.C. Wow. What you gonna do when they come for you? Yeah, look at that. What you gonna do when they come for you? Elliot, now Elliot again has been here twice already in the new league, playing Mark Riley, doing really well against Mark Riley in singles, and of course beating John Shemp. They Not call John. him the that mountain. Is. They call Elliot the mountain. Not a lot of athleticism we saw out of that intro, but Ricky really came to play or at least drink. All right. I felt like Ann Coulter during Rob Lowe's roast back there. And yeah. Just without us being able to respond, just really gave us all the Savage. what for. <laughs> well, that Ann Coulter, such a winning personality. You don't want us here, but we, we don't have to. Yeah. I know we could leave right now and have just as many subscribers on YouTube. It's fine. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, guys, here we go. You want to hear the rules, Ricky? Please. <laughs> All right, let's, but we let's don't want to hear Gentlemen, the rules. your rules in round one. Each competitor will get three questions. That means each team gets six questions from different categories. Each question is worth one point. There is no stealing. There is no penalty for a missed question. You are not allowed to confer with your teammate during round one. It is a test of your mind alone. All right. So, ETC, you guys are the favorite. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. I'll go you, first. You take All right, it. Ricky will go first, yeah. and ah. then out of Real Rejects, who's going to go first out of Real Rejects? I'll go first. That's right. me. So let's start with Ricky, and then we will go to Greg. And then, Ricky, would you like to answer from Category 1 or Category 2? I'll take number 2, please. All right. It's going number 2. It's, it's a poop. Hilarious. Also known as poop. All right. So Animated I'm films, Ricky. Your question is, in the beloved classic Bambi, what is the name of Bambi's skunk pal? Stinker? It should have been, but that's incorrect. We're actually looking for flower. Ah, does there. confidence flower. count? Half point? You're very confident. It's <laughs> very confident, Kids but still irony. pointless. We move on to action adventure, Ricky. Who played the daring love interest that accompanied Brendan Fraser in the Mummy films? Literally have never seen it. Yeah, I know. You're, yeah, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, Five, man. Uh, four, uh, three, two, one. Yeah. Uh, we were looking for Stinker the Skunk. That is no, incorrect. Okay, we're yeah. actually looking for Rachel Weiss. Oh, yeah. Rachel Weiss, still pointless, going into Ricky's last question in round one. Yeah. In the realm of comedy, which comedy features characters named Smokey, Debo, and Big Worm? Friday? One point right, for ETC. Go. They're yeah. on the board. All right, Greg, you are up in the category yes. of animated. Uh, which 1980s Disney film features a mouse that goes by the moniker Basil of Baker Street? Uh, the Great Mouse Detective. Wow. One, not, one, huh. one. See, it's all. Uh, I didn't know that. Who would know that? That was a good one. That what was... a useless piece of information. That was impressive. I love that movie. All right, action adventure, Greg. Yes, sir. Which famed villain is the antagonist of Sherlock Holmes' Game of Shadows? Uh, Moriarty. Correct. Yes. Two oh, points right off the bat. They came to play. All right, Greg, your final question yes, in sir. round one. Who played Mr. Wilson in 1993's Dennis the Menace? He had a mustache. Mm. It's, he was old. He was grumpy. It's like a police sketch artist description. Five, four, three, uh, two, uh, the, 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 one. Odd couple guy. We're looking for Walter Matthau. Walter Ma ah, Walter. You said old and grumpy. Yeah, yeah. grumpy I know. old man. Odd couple. <laughs> <laughs> just a, I, you're I giving yourself clues. You <laughs> <laughs> right. One of these days, now we, Greg. Now we go he's, to a, he's a grumpy old man. I just Who could it be? Him. <laughs> ETC with their trademark brand of humor, but also very accurately pointing out the obvious. How's that going to affect Real Rejects going forward? We it's move back us. to yeah, ETC, much, yeah. and now, Elliot, you are up. Mm -hmm. Your question is in drama. Johnny Depp played what real-life gangster in 2009's Public Enemies? John Dillinger. Very well hung right. and very accurate. <laughs> One point. Big penis. That's cute. Penis. That's cute. Now we move on to Oscars. In the realm of Oscars, Paul Haggis directed which movie that won Best Picture? Crash. 
Another Elliot point. Elliot kicking ass there. Yeah. Yeah. Three two. Elliot two. showing so the strength that he usually shows. Ricky, Drace, and Elliot gets the questions yeah. right. Now we move on to a new category here in round one. Child actors. The answer is Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> <laughs> what comedy featured a role by Macaulay Culkin before he starred in Home Alone? Uncle Buck. Another wow, point. sweeping it up. <laughs> Coming in strong. Wow. All right, so All now right. it's up to John here to see what he can do. The newcomer. Uh, so much. I can do so many Here things. we go in the category of drama. Don't let us down. John. Love it. Who plays the detective with whom does Meg Ryan have an affair in 2003's In the Cut? These guys are very good at reactions. Yes. My best friend, John. Uh, <laughs> in the Cut is one of my favorite movies of That's where you all see time. Meg Ryan's breast for the first time, I think. Five. No wonder I don't know the answer. Four. Um, careful on the coaching. Three, it's probably Willem two. Dafoe. Uh, we were looking for Mark Ruffalo. Same Mark thing. Mark really. Ruffalo. And, uh, Greg, difference. we are going to ask that you shut your trap. During <laughs> <laughs> don't confer right. with me, Gregory. Here we go. Oscars. Name one of the two films that saw Hilary Swank win the Oscar for Best Actress. Boys Don't Cry? Correct. There you go. There's a point for the real rejects. And in your last category of child actors. Love them. Dylan and Cole Sprouse play Julian McGrath in what comedy in which he gives himself the nickname Frankenstein? Ugh. Seriously? Am I allowed to ask if it's something other than Sweet Life? <laughs> like, did they do anything else? Five, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Four. Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, the movie. We were looking for Big, Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Big, Big Daddy. Daddy. All right, oh, so there you man, go. Man, I'm a movie. Movie. Round one, Not a yeah. guy. is He's in the lead deep. with a strong, strong round by Elliot. Puts him in the lead. Four, three, going into round two. And now we move on to round two, where the rules have shape-shifted a little bit here. In round two, you guys are going to be presented with a wheel. You will spin the wheel. Woo! Yeah. Josh McCougar, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Love Makuga. circles. Love circles. Each team will get one spin. You guys look at the category. If you don't like what category you spawn, you are allowed a mulligan, and you may spin again. Whatever the wheel lands on, you must answer six questions from that category. Each question is worth two points. If you want multiple choice, the value of the question goes down to one. Stealing is allowed. And one of the newer wrinkles here, each team may confer on every question in round two. All right, so ETC, you guys are up right now. Would you like to go first or would you like to defer? We can go first. I also, uh, I love how uh, you've uh, fixed the glitch with the spinning wheel so that there's no confusion over where it landed. Yeah. <laughs> no conspiracy theories in the we're, Schmoville we're comment section. We're trying. Yeah. All right, here, All right. good luck. I will spin. The conspiracies, spin, they spilled yeah, over on the channel. There it is. It so lands good on. Good semi-manly spin there. On. Elliot. Cameron Diaz movies. You can stay, you can spin again if you'd like. I'm going to spin again. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> There's the spin. Will Cameron Diaz rear her beautiful head again? Scorsese. Oh, Scorsese. Scorsese. Right, yeah. Scorsese. Right. Scorsese flicks. Scorsese. And that is what right. they need to go into battle with. I will be administering the questions okay. to ETC. Your first question in the realm of Martin Scorsese movies. In what setting does the climactic showdown battle take place in the 1991 film Cape Fear? Very wisely staying away from the yes. microphones, Christian. On a boat. Two points yeah. there you go. for ETC. All right. Hell of a remake by Marty Scorsese. Yeah. Your next question, which Scorsese film is based on the book Wise Guy by Nicholas Pelagin? Good fellas. All right, Two more go. points <laughs> for ETC. The Departed is a remake of what acclaimed Infernal Hong Affairs. Kong action wow. Ten Two three. more points. <laughs> Not even a conferring. They Great have teamwork. come to play. What <laughs> is the, the occupation of Daniel Day Lewis's character Newland Archer in the 1993 romantic drama movie The Age of Innocence? Cobbler? That is, that is incorrect. incorrect. So now we move to the real rejects for a much needed two point steal. Looks like you're really counting on me for this one. Um... I'm just beaming you idea particles so that you Five, can assemble them. Four, Use of idea particles is three, two, 
One. Like a what? house builder. What do you got? House, <laughs> house builder. builder. <laughs> house builder. I love Jesus, that house builder. He was great. great uh, we were looking for a Jesus lawyer. Jesus never built a house. Lawyer. Lawyer. We yeah, were actually going to dock them two yeah. points for thinking that a carpenter goes by the name House Builder. House yeah. Builder. <laughs> and now we are back to ETC. You have two questions remaining in this category. What Academy Award winning movie directed by Scorsese ends with the biblical quote, All I know is this once I was blind and now I can see? We do multiple choice? Multiple choice? Is it A, the aviator? B, the color of money? C, Cape Fear, or D, Raging Bull? Do you have any idea? Uh, B. That is incorrect. <laughs> now we go to Real Rejects. Can you can steal. Can choice again? Yeah. We certainly can. Is it A, The Aviator? No. B, The Color of Money? Maybe. C, Cape Fear, or D, Raging Bull? Five. Raging Bull. A much Correct. needed point wow. there. Big for steal. Real Big steal. It should really oh. be <laughs> three quarters of a point because oh. we, we got what, one of the answers out for them. So. Okay. <laughs> All right, last one. Christian, what seems like Good a job. category ETC was going to run away it with, like it, yeah. now it's getting a little competitive. They have one question left, and that one is, what actor portrayed Trooper William Costigan Jr. in Scorsese's 2006 crime movie The Departed? Uh, DiCaprio. Yeah. Leo DiCaprio. Two points for ETC, <clears throat> and that's a pretty darn good second round, Christian. All right, it's a good round, and they, and they only got a one, one steal. It's not too bad, but now the, the real rejects have to have a good spin here, or they might be in risk of getting knocked out. It's an eight-point game right now. Come on, sports. I have anxiety. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Big spin. There's the spin. <laughs> Solid <laughs> spin. <laughs> we got... Oh. What is it? Cameron, Cameron Diaz. Diaz movies. <laughs> Back at uh, it again. Can we spin again? You can spin again. Yeah. yeah. Last Cameron last Diaz, Diaz does again. not want to go home. <laughs> no one. Cameron Diaz really wants something. Sly and Arnie. We'll go with that. Oh, Sly, Sly and Arnie. Sly and Arnie, and Arnie right. a fan favorite category. And here we go. The Real Rejects. Six questions in round two. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Rambo reluctantly gets called back into action in 2008's Rambo. From which country does he attempt to rescue hostages? It's Burma. Correct. Wow. Two points. They know their slide movies. Yeah. How about Arnie? All right. Which 1990s action flick saw Arnie joined by acting veterans James Caan, James Coburn, and James... Eraser. Correct. Wow. Didn't even get the question. They know they're sly. They know they're Arnie. Look out, ETC. All right. Rocky is trained by Mick. What is the name or the nickname of Apollo's trainer? Oh, yeah, the guy who always cries. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's cheating. Multiple choice? Yeah, you can do that. Um... Is it A, Reggie, B, Duke, C, Buddy, D, Griff? Reggie. Incorrect. ETC? Buddy. We were looking for Duke. <laughs> Everyone's dog looking Duke. for Duke. For what it's worth, it's always looking guess. for Duke. All right, so nothing, no steal there, no damage, really. All right, in which 1980s Sylvester Stallone movie was originally pitched as The French Connection 3? Multiple choice, please. Was it A, Nighthawks, B, First Blood, C, Cobra, D, Lockup? Five, four. Let's go with the first one. Nighthawks is correct. Yeah. Ooh, well, Nighthawks. Oh, pulling a page out of Josh McCoon's book them. there. All right. <laughs> In which apocalyptic film does Arnie play the character Jericho Keen? Oh, apocalyptic film? Yep. End of days. Correct for two points. Two points. Well, they needed a strong well, round. They're getting it so far. Now, in which Arnold movie made the most money at the domestic box office? Terminator 2. 
correct. Wow. Look at that. The real rejects are in the lead Whoa. now. It's 13 12. Unbelievable as we go to the third round. Mark, explain the rules of the third it's round. It's the please. way we thought this might play out because you had the favorites coming out strong, but now the plucky upstarts who were just happy to sleep in the dumpster outside the studio. Yeah. Now, nice all of a sudden, dumpster. in the lead going into the last round. Trying to make a statement. In round three, you will each team gets three questions. You have to decide amongst yourself who wants the one point question and who wants the three point question. Then you get a five point question that you can confer on with your teammates. There's no stealing. There's no penalty for getting a question incorrect. Right. We need a random series of numbers between one and 23 from each team. All right, Real Rejects, you guys are in the lead by one point. You get to pick first. Three numbers, please. Seven. Seven. 13. 13. 22. 22. Bold numbers. All right, ETC. Six. 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 Nine. Nine. 12. Six, nine, and 12. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Yes. ETC, you are down one point. You're one pointer. In the category of crime movies, who would like to answer? I'll, I'll take the one point just in case. You'll take the one point. <laughs> Didn't even care about the category. Nope. He just wants nope. the one matter. pointer. And I'll the take the throwaway, please. Of crime <laughs> movies. Which director currently working on a comic book movie was at the helm for the 2003 movie Monster starring Charlize Theron? Oh, um... Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Um, I'm Michelle McLaren. I know it's wrong. We're looking for Patty Jenkins. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I knew right. it was. Yeah. So then we now go to the ETC's three pointer here in a category of action adventure. That could be war. Name a James Bond film. That stars Timothy Dalton as 007. The Living Daylights? Three points. Whew. ETC. Oh, wow. wow. Who okay. knew Elliot was such a fan of Timothy Dalton as James Bond? So we go on over to Under the Real Rejects now. Oh, who have so to stressful. hit their one point. <laughs> the Real Rejects. Your first question is coming of age movies. Mm, just taking that one. Yeah, I'll take that. I came All of right. age just recently. Your question is... <laughs> Name the four young stars who played best friends in Stand By Me. Jerry O'Connell. Um, oh, somebody else notable. <laughs> um, Jerry O'Connell. That kid from Five, Star Wars Episode One. Four. Um, three, that kid who plays Bruce Wayne on two, Gotham. He's great. One. And um, we're looking for and a young Bruce Willis. Will Wheaton, River Phoenix. That's what I said. Jerry O'Connell and Corey Feldman. Same all right. difference. Yeah. Happens all Greg, the time. you are now up. Your question for three points. In the category of war films, what Star Wars? Hey, Star Wars. Wars. What Star Wars actor appeared in the 1980s World War II drama? The big red one. Out of seven Star Wars films, uh, one actor who appeared in the big red one. Five. Uh, four, three. Uh, Alec Beginnis. Young man named Mark Hamill. All right, so oh, Mark crap, that's Hamill. Right, yeah. comes I remember down that. to this. <laughs> the real rejects can confer for this oh, five God. pointer, but if they miss it, ETC wins the game. Oh man, Christian, the drama has never been more intense. <laughs> we bring the and drama, baby. I don't baby. believe this is pretty what crazy. question <laughs> that Real Rejects randomly selected with their five-point category. Sly and Arnie film. Oh come on! <laughs> Unbelievable. Fuck. Your Rigged. question is: Riggs. Who played Tango, and who played Cash? <laughs> We're talking this over. Teammates. They really have learned really the art of the game very quickly. They need to who played Tango and Cap? Yeah, played who played Tango? Who played Cap? Like specific actors between Kurt Russell and yes. Russell Yes, Stallone. that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> you got five, four, three, two. Kurt Russell played uh, Tango and Sylvester Stallone played Cap. And your Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Ladies and gentlemen, so close. Ricky and Kurt Russell has never played Tango. Wow. Never played Tango. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
it was in. Even the drama intensified. They got a category they really wanted, and they just couldn't get the tango. Why would you be so cruel like that? All right, so the real rejects wow. here, they came to play. That's right. I mean, they showed up. They really gave a game effort. They, they just couldn't get the tango with the cash. And now we go to our own tango slash cash. Josh McCuga is with both the winning team and the losing team. Today's victors, ETC, Elliot, Ricky. Guys, congratulations. Hell of a game. Ricky, you started out pretty slow. The team came around. How are you guys feeling right now? Well, I, I think it's sad because, you know, they say don't meet your heroes, but then the real rejects had to play against them. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of unfair if you if you really think about I, it. I think they really screwed themselves from the start by naming themselves the real rejects. <laughs> it's, it's a very, you got to have positive thinking, and that, that was really not positive. Interesting. But now Still they know what a real winner looks like. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, what do you think was uh, your point in the match was like a turning point there? Do you guys feel at all at any point in the match like maybe we're going to lose this uh, The thing? turning point came at the very end when they couldn't get Tango and Cash uh, <laughs> in the right order. There was a 50-50 chance there, and they blew it. Well, I think Elliot's uh, ability to name uh, any kind of trivia from any Scorsese movie uh, really helped us out. Unbelievable. So, yeah, that was... Uh, that you was... went full Scorsese reign. And I, I would like to say that I only knew the uh, Cape Fear ending because it was referenced on The Simpsons. <laughs> Right. Yep. Guys, watch The Simpsons and watch movies. Yeah. Uh, the fellows from ETC. Now, who would you guys like to see next oh, in the show? Do you even have to ask? I don't think you have to ask. We have fucking Scott Mance's number. Paul oh. Stance, aka Scott Mance. We are coming from you for you, and we are gonna we're gonna be the ones that are in the back of the taxi cabs on the TV when we're done with you. And Jason Inman, tell him, Elliot. Yeah, you guys. Oh, you're the big Trekkie T. You better wear the red shirts. Yeah. Wear your you're red shirt. Get shot to death. <laughs> that is literally shots fired here on the team tournament. Movie trivia showdown. Mance Inman ETC is coming for you. All right, Schmodown fans, I'm here with, unfortunately, I'm, I'm with the Real Rejects. They're great dudes. Unfortunately, unfortunately, unfortunately today they lost their team match in the movie trivia showdown. Fellas, how are you feeling right now? Talk to the fans. I feel uh, disappointed. I feel uh, like... I got broken up for the first time. Ooh, tough one. Yeah. You know when that girl breaks your heart for the first time? Yeah. Happened last week. It's brutal. Did it really? Yeah. Wow. That's personal. I know. I know. That's dark. I know. It's tough. It's not as bad as that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's. It, I feel a little bit... Uh, when you're on the spot, you know, you do yeah. blank out a little the, bit. Yeah. The lights hit you a little bit, right? Yeah. This is your first time here uh, on the Movie Trivia Schmodown. I know a lot of people come in, they think they know a ton of movie knowledge. Uh, when the lights hit you, it is a little stressful, is it not? Yeah, you hear your heartbeat more than you do the actual yeah. questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts, I can just hear my blood circulation. <laughs> uh, what do you think was the toughest question thrown at you? There was a moment, I think probably the funniest moment of the match, was when you when the, the answer to the question was Walter Matthau, and you were like, he's grumpy, yeah. he's old. You're like, you just gave him his most popular. Popular movie. I couldn't. I was thinking. I, I knew it was the opposite guy of Jack Lemmon. I just couldn't uh, put the name to it. I want to say Walter Conkright. I was like, that's not right. <laughs> that's not a person. It's Walter yeah. Cronkite. But uh, you were close enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, I felt like his um, "Stand by Me" question was a little tough. That's actually. a tough one. I yeah, a and tough I should have got Feldman too, because I, I, I know. I, I, for some reason, he always just goes to Frog Brothers for me. I hear you. I hear. You. Okay, so you guys got the Wolves of Steel next. Yes. Uh, you got Mark Riley, who's who is a former champion of belt holder. You got Clark yeah. Wolf who fought for the championship. Yeah. No slouch. How you guys feeling about your next match? I feel that uh, we can take them down pretty okay. easily. Really? Yeah. I've uh, <laughs> I've seen them compete. Your, and, uh, your teammate not so honestly, uh Just um, I'm just gonna say that I, I just don't think they know as much. I don't think they deserve to be on Collider in general. Whoa. I feel like they uh, shots they shouldn't fired. even be competing with us. Really. This Go is just my ego talking. The real rejects going full heel rejects, if you would, here on Don't Shake Your Head at Me. You know it was funny. Guys, uh, the Movie Trivia Schmodown Team Tournament Edition, real rejects. Guys, congratulations, first of all. Thank you for being here your first time, and we can't wait to see you on the next match. Christian, Mark, back to you. So there you go. You hear ETC, and ETC just will not leave Scott Mance alone. They're calling him out <laughs> once again, and we'll see if whether or not Scott Mance and Jason Inman, Team Trek, can win a match to get themselves to play Team ETC. Team ETC now is 2-1, and one, starting to make a, a play, a pitch for the ch a championship run. They're going to be feared for sure for decades to come in this game, but don't forget about Real Rejects. They no. showed up. They probably didn't even know the rules. It didn't look like they knew they were being introduced, but by the end of the game, they knew clearly where they were. The spotlight no longer affected them. They did well. It's going to be interesting to see how the drama unfolds here in the team matches for the movie Trivia Schmodown. Wearing the world's smallest earpiece, that is Christian Hart. 
Karloff. My name is simply Mark Ellis. Thank you, everybody out there, for joining us here at Collider Video. Make, you, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment because we enjoy reading them. We don't have much else. Hey, guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.